when I reflect on what it means to be a woman in, of influence, I right away think about a person's manifest. And when their manifest is so strong that it really becomes their passion, um, we start looking at their passion as, are they a subject matter expert? And then we dig a little deeper into that passion and that subject matter expertise that they seem to have. And we suddenly start paying attention to them and to their message. And uh, I think when you figure out in life what, first of all, what you're going to do in college, and then what you're going to search for in your career, uh, for some people, it will manifest into this incredible passion and then it'll even further manifest into uh, being a woman of influence. And I got to say, um, it started with me uh, very young. I watched my mother and she was always uh, there for people. She was always helping underprivileged uh, folks. And so when it came to my career that I've now had for 23 years, little did I know I would be placed in the community and citizenship director for this $8 billion company. And it just feels natural to me to reach out to the underserved and to help them with their mountains and valleys. And how do I, how do I even get in touch with bigger companies? Because I really want to work for bigger companies. And I was taught very young, stop what you're doing, listen to other people, pay attention to other people. And if you are able to, lend them a hand and help them along as they struggle through their lives. And suddenly you may change their lives. And I truly believe my legacy has, goes hand in hand with my career. I've been afforded the responsibility and the privilege of helping others come to my company and be able to work for my company um, just by me being there listening and guiding them through. And I think that's a pretty important legacy. So thank you so much.